Hey guys! In this video, we are going to try out a strategy to overcome fatigue. And also, thanks to that, explore the edge of the world. Or, well, the world of Warcraft. You normally can't resurrect inside a fatigue zone, right? Uh, but you can still cast mass resurrection. And after you have gotten resurrected, your fatigue bar will have been reset. So what this means is that any raid group or party with at least two healers are able to explore all of fatigue. Uh, well, without limitations. Uh, all you need to do is to be clever, so that both of your healers won't die at the same time. And now guys, uh, so for this video, we decided to head out from Ice Crown and see what we were able to discover. Uh, we even managed to reach the edge of the world. Um, so, I hope you enjoy. So our first discovery was this uh, very odd looking part of the ocean. It is right outside Ice Crown. Uh, I assume the bug has persisted all the way from Rattle Lich King. Under the surface, uh, a bit to the north, we found this funny looking spike, which is quite out of place, uh, since the rest of the ocean floor is just a flat area. After a 10 minute swim to the northwest, we got into the zone Crystal Song Forest, um, which is kind of weird, since last I checked, it's supposed to be the center of Northrend. Perhaps Blizzard created Crystal Song Forest as the first ever zone in Northrend, and then later on added other parts. That would explain why the outer part of the ocean uh, is marked as being part of Crystal Song, along with the map and uh, the chat belonging to it. After another 10 minutes of heading north, we reach a death wall. It's really similar to the invisible wall, but, well, this one kills you. We decided to return to the surface, uh, so we could continue a bit further. Oh, and we also have two moons on Azeroth, the more you know.
after we reach the death wall on the surface as well, and trying a few different tricks to pass it, uh, we were unable to. So I guess this appears to be the edge of the world, as seen on the world map. So the last thing I tried to do was to head west, uh, hopefully finding something else that would be quite cool. And this was when the most hilarious thing happened. Half of the raid got out of nowhere uh, the ability to fly. It appears that the edge of the world has really low gravity. After reaching the death wall located to the west, and resurrecting a final time, that's when my own superpower appeared. And that was to be free of the camera constantly following my character. To be completely fair, I'm not sure how great of a superpower that is, but at least it's unique. Oh, and of course, the rest of the raid kept flying. That seems kinda unfair. Uh, the truth is that the players aren't actually flying. It's a visual bug that happens if you get resurrected really close to the death wall. The thing that happened to me, happened to everyone else, but on the spectator screen, uh, they seem to be flying off. And of course we resurrected in Westfall. That isn't really a surprise, I guess. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this adventure with us, uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.